Hello, I'm Z, and welcome back to Mori. We left off right here in this lovely new place last time, called Orange Oasis. And if it's your first time being here on the Orange Oasis, then, uh, well, I gotta say, there's a lot of stuff to do here. So let's get started. Wow, it's a big apple. Now you sure are right. Apple juice. Alright, we didn't talk to people in the station, so let's go ahead and do that. Over. <laughs> Over. Hey, they made it. I spy with my little eye a rainbow umbrella thing with lots of legs. That's you. Chomp, chomp, chomp. I was waiting for the train for so long. Can't even remember what I want. Why I wanted to come here. Hey, just live here. Everyone here is so different and interesting. I wonder what makes the what makes me different and interesting. Loki gets down easily. He just needs someone to listen sometimes. So that someone is me. Oh, the weather is not even hotter than before. Oh, but isn't the air sweet here? You can smell the sugar. Yeah, I'm pretty fast, but not as fast as a train. It's important to know your limits. True. Oh, there's a fox here. I've never been to this stop before. Can't wait to explore Range Oasis. Land of Possibilities. Is it the Land of Possibilities now? Hmm? Holy cow. There's a station for Pluto. No, we're not gonna wait here for Pluto. I just wanted to make sure it actually works. It's our first time going here. Galley pots, gastropod. Today's special: orange juice, peach soda, and milk. Yes, yes. Hello, valued customer. Welcome to my shop. Please buy something. Okay, okay, okay. Nothing here really, really uh, grabs my attention. It's it's the, these are the same. As in terms of healing and cost, but one is designed to hold serum and one isn't. I'll have you know, I don't appreciate window shoppers. I am the tofu connoisseur. I love all kinds of tofu. Each piece of tofu is unique and deserves to be enjoyed individually. If you trade me 10 tofu, I'll give you a snack that I have gathered from my many tofu-related journeys. Would you like to trade me 10 tofu for one snack? Yeah. Hey, you don't have 10 tofu. Alright, I don't yet. Hello, young travelers. Please try some of my refreshments. I made it all myself. I'd like some milk. Would you like some fresh milk? Oh, but it costs money. Not for sale. What? Welcome to Orange Oasis, where the moon shines brighter. I am Ricoli Ravioli, a food hobbyist. I feel like that's making fun of someone, but I can't tell who. Oh gosh, that actually scared me. Poor Kel, man. He deals no damage. He's so behind on levels. I think he's like two or three levels behind. Yeah, he's two levels behind. Man, I feel bad for him. Oh, gosh. Oh, there's a, a map. I know what this map is. We got a treasure map. Yeah, I'll look at it in a second. What's this? Try some big grapes. You sure are right about that. That's just a telescope. We can look out into the beyond, but there's not much to see. Except uh, the Grand Canyon. And the pyramids, apparently. Oh, this is a side quest, right? Uh, here. Howdy ho, youngins. Y'all mind doing me a favor? I need you to scratch an itch for me. It's on the bottom, so I can't really get to it. Ugh. It's just an absolutely killing me. Absolutely. I'll just have to go inside the pyramids location there. You got grape soda. Love me some grape soda. Actually, I don't. I don't really fancy grape soda.
I don't like the chase of grapes that much, I'm gonna be honest. That might be some people might think that's weird. I mean it is. I don't know why I don't like grapes, but you deal so little damage kill. It's it's disappointing, really. Uh, what will I do with him? I'm not gonna go in the pyramid just yet, because that's gonna take a while. I'm stuck and cannot get down. I wish I could help you. I wish I could. This place is bad for my cavities. But only his teeth anyway. True enough. Orange Oasis is mostly full of senior folks who've been around since the who knows how long. But I have my hopes. One day, this place could be a flourishing city. There's plenty of land for development. True. A joke! What do you call cheese that isn't yours? Nacho cheese. Excellent. You recorded the joke in your notebook. Yeah, that's not funny. These, uh, hollow spaces I mark. And, um, I have hidden my most precious belongings. Yes. I smash my face to remember. But lightly. Any harder and it would break. Smash. Any harder and it would break. So we gotta smash it with Aubrey's bat. There we go. My most precious belongings. His most precious belongings are jam packets, which are really good because it revives the whole the whole team. And hey, it's Beard Ghost. Look how funny Aubrey looks with a beard. Or a Mori. Or Kill. Or Hero. Well, Hero does Hero doesn't really fit. Beard Ghost looks around aimlessly as if it's lost. I'm gonna get this, and let's fight this. There we go. I'm doing this because we have the... Oh my god, no. That's just that's just mean. They leveled up and kill still behind. Um, I'm doing this because we have the bunny killer quest. Oh, there's two of them. I don't want to do that. Although, Pancake, bu Pancake Bunny do be looking kind of fine. Uh, not gonna lie. She kind of cute. I like these, so yeah. I don't think I uh, had a picnic last time here. It's been a week, so I haven't played this game in a week, sadly. Uh, let's have a picnic, yeah. The brown sugar feels good on my feet. I almost want to pick it off and eat it. That's disgusting, Kel. Why would he even think that? That's so weird. We all have weird thoughts sometimes. Kel just doesn't think before he says them out loud. Hey, I consider that a good thing. If you got something to say, then say it. That's just wrong, Kel. You should always think before you speak. Have some self-awareness. Says who? You? Miss Bossy Pants? You have plenty of- I have plenty of self-awareness. Oh. Oh. Well, that's disappointing. The battery on my controller died. I guess I'll have to play from my, uh, keyboard. That's, uh, yeah, that is disappointing. Okay. Well, there we go. Made a reminder. I know where I am at all times. Yeesh, must not be too. Balance, guys. It's all about balance. Hero, you coward. That's the laziest answer I've ever heard. I expect better from you. Oh man, what I say now? I don't know, Hero, but you pissed them off. Set the menu button. Um, I'm not used to. PC controls. Oh, there it goes. A. Okay. A and switch to kill. Because I want to see if this is dependent on who's the party leader. Does the picnic have different animations if... No. No, it's not. It's not if someone else is the party leader. Hey, Amori. Guess what? The sand here isn't sand at all. It's brown sugar. Now, isn't that sweet? <laughs> it sure is hot out here, though. Remember to say hydrate, everyone. Of course. Which button do I run from? Oh, shift. Okay, well, that makes sense. Let's talk to uh, the pellet. The spawn water is so clear. It's like I can see a whole nother world on the other side. Oh, yeah, that's because you can. Yeah, I'm going to stare at it intently. And I'm going to get dragged into the water.
rain town. If I remember correctly. Ah. It is raining too hard. It's making us slightly uncomfortable. There is a mystical valley in, a valve nearby which controls our rainfall. But only the chosen one is able to turn it. It all helps us. We're doomed to be slightly uncomfortable forever. It is raining just a bit too much, don't you think? Where's the, there's the valve. The right. Slightly lighter now. Slightly lighter. Which is what I meant. So, oh, I keep pressing the wrong button. The rain has been adjusted. Neat. Thank you, chosen one. We will remember your act of kindness forever. What's that, child? You wanna go with them? Are you sure? That's your wish. Chosen one, this child wishes to join you on your quest. She is yours now. Please take good care of her. You got a veggie kid. Go forth, heroes. Your journey awaits you. That's amazing. I love this town. I'm gonna equip that veggie kid on Kel because he actually needs it. Where is veggie kid? Here, 15 heart, 15 juice. He needs that a lot. Let's, uh... Eat some hearty soup. I'm not sure if that's the sound you should make when you're eating soup, a crunch sound, but hey, it's fine. Here in Raytown, Town, it always seems to be raining a bit. It's not the most ideal weather conditions for a picnic, but it, that never stopped me before. Yeah, any time is a good time for a picnic. <laughs> that's right, kill. Any time is a good time, especially with friends. You wanna have a picnic with your friends? Yeah. Hmm. Yummy. Thanks for the soup, Mari. This... This soup... Is, uh... Delicious. Can I... Have some seconds, please? What's wrong, guys? Is there something wrong with my soup? Ugh. Lazing around in the rain is all fu It's fun and all, but eating the in the rain is a whole nother thing. I can't tell where the rain ends and when the soup begins. So that's what I was thinking earlier, actually. It's kind of uncomfortable, huh? Let's save here. And then leave this town. And never come here again. That's right. I'm like that. I'm mean. I will not really I won't call myself that necessarily. What was up here? Legends speak of the pair with twins who guard the orange oasis under the watchful eye. It is said that they have power to raise the dead, the dead among other things. I don't know if there's much truth to these legends, but wouldn't that be interesting? Right, we're gonna get to that at some point. Dunbred twins. Oh, floating mirror. Right. Oh, what was this? Cross sun is upside down and struggling to flip over. Flip him? Yeah. Flip the croissant over. Thanks. You're most welcome. But also, where did you go? I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't see him anywhere. Yeah, no, I don't. Well, that's... I don't know if that's a bit of a problem or not, but... Don't really matter to me. Orange juice, good. I don't want to fight the money, to be honest. I don't really want to fight anything right now. Just kind of like explore. Red for juice. Okay, let's try and dodge this to the best of my capabilities. We can't go in there yet. And greetings. Thank you for talking to me. You got a hundred clams. Greetings. Thank you for talking to me. I'm. I'm sorry that he had to pay us. I'm actually sorry that he had to pay us. You know. Go. Oh. I grab that donut. You can barely see nowadays, but I can still make out some shapes. You can tell. You're all a strange looking donuts. Huh? What was that, Sonny? Did it say something? Nope, did not say anything. My granddaughter rarely visits, but she sends me a postcard every now and then. She seems to be doing well. Is, is that a. Uh, Alright, well, that's a baby. Or at least a donut baby. Is 
assembling line dug up a huge tunnel, but it has a secret entrance no one knows about. I'm gonna go find the treasure at Dino Dig later, but I better make sure it's okay with mom first. Bounce, bounce, bounce. This guy's sleeping. Just one more pepperoni, please. Mom says if we misbehave, we'll be sent to the shadowy chasm. But whatever, I ain't scared of no monsters. Shadowy chasm. Hello and welcome. Please make yourselves at home. Was that cheese? I'm guessing that was cheese. There's just never a dull moment in this house. Isn't that right, Victor? What? No, he doesn't know. Uh, here, let's grab this. Light jam, exactly. Talk to you. Miss Balmy has been taking care of us forever. She's always so caring and loving. I wish I could give her something super special. Yeah, now it's my job to give you something. That would be super special. Make toast, yeah. Welcome to my house. I take care of children who don't have a family of their own. It's been a bit empty around here lately, so I always worry that children who are left will start, like, will start getting lonely. Mm hmm. Yeah. I agree with her. Wholeheartedly. I'm guessing that's the secret entrance, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it is. And you see how there's arrows on, on that? Yeah, well... We're supposed to follow the arrows, alright? That's why I'm supposed to really say. You'll see why, I'll give one example of not following the arrows. You see, it tells you to go right. So if you go left... You should have listened. And now it's full of monsters around here. What a crazy world, right? We beat some gingerbreads. And there, we have a ghost. Ghost ghost. That was enough, alright. Kill! You got a level! Well, you see what happens when you uh, misbehave and don't follow the directions, so we're just gonna follow the direction all the way through. No reason to misbehave. Long arrow at the left. Long arrow at the left. Anything here? No. Yeah, 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 it got me. It got me, okay? I should have listened, but you put the thing all the way. Eh. Too late now, right? Ooh, 115. XP. Yeah, so we're supposed to go this way. Let's try and dodge this guy. There we go. Don't really want to fight. To the right. To the left. And we've reached it. You did it. Good for you. Good for me. And there we go up, and there's actually a trap door here. Yeah, that's it. There's nothing else. Surprising, right? Let's go over here now. We're gonna talk to uh, that guy over there in a second. Just wanted to make sure on the sides there's nothing. So. Hey, uh, what are you doing? My name is Orange Joe and I'm throwing oranges. Whoa, so cool. But why? Because I'm looking for my, my lost long, lo long lost twin brother. Or Oragna Joe. Not Orange, Oragna. 
We were separated at birth, but as my citrusy heart, I know that he is still out there somewhere. Each orange is inscribed with a message explaining who I am and how to find me. I'm hoping that it, by throwing these in all directions, one of them will reach him and lead him back to me. Aw, that's so sweet. I hope you find your brother eventually. Thank you, young lady. I know I will. My body is healthy and full of hope and vigor. But, just in case, if you do happen to see my twin, please give him this orange crest. I know it will lead him to me somehow. Alright, if you're not my dear friend, Orange Joe, we will find your brother, for sure. And in his house, it's the citrusy mess. Blood Orange. Wait, what was the Blood Orange? Was it a weapon for kill? Yeah. Does a lot more damage, so we're gonna equip it. Oh no, it does somewhat more damage, but more juice. Like, quite a lot. And juice is important. Not for kill, sadly. Kill never uses juice, which is a problem, because, like, the one, one thing that he gets is juice. Ignore the fact that I'm starting to get pissed by how bad Kill is designed. Uh, have we done everything? No, well, we haven't technically. All right, I want to uh, I want to talk about why why uh, his brother is called o Oragne Joe. He's not an orange. He's a lemon. All right, we'll meet him soon. He's a lemon, and you might be thinking, if it's a lemon, will it be Lemon Joe? Well, no. Because for some reason, this is kind of an easter egg, I guess, uh, something the developer put in for some reason. Also, there should be a Burning Man in here. Yeah, there's a Burning Man. Ignore him. Um, there's a sort of easter egg that the, the developer put in. It's that... Mori doesn't actually know the name of a lemon, and he just calls it an Oragna. It's orange, but spelled wrong. And if I remember correctly, this is what I did last time at work. Just press one of these in order. Yeah, there we go. We're not gonna go there yet. We got bread. Thank you. There we're gonna go a lot later. Uh, something that we have to do with a boss fight. But we're not doing it now. At least that's what I, I'm saying. We do. But I... I always do things that, uh, I don't know, I always say things and then I don't do them, or I change my mind, or whatever. A hamster with a fancy pack is essentially a small kangaroo. No. Aw, oh, nuts. I'm one down a dollar short. Let's try for my silver spoon. Welcome to Dino Shop. According to my log, it says you have a total of zero dino dollars. If you want to buy a juice spoon, just point one out and I'll help you buy it. There we go. Oh, I scratched Scott's bottom. Ah, much better. Now I'm gonna go talk to him. Hey, you must be the kid who scratched, like, scratched my itch. What a future relief. Here, take this. We actually have too many of these things. I'm sure it'll come in handy one way or another. You got a hard hat. Maybe. Stay safe, kids. Can't really thank you enough. One thing I do have to know, uh, to let you know, is that I will be ending this episode a bit shortly today, because I am, um, kind of pressed for time. I don't have that much time. The food pyramid has a knack for finding lost things. Ancient artifacts, old relics lost to time. The possibilities are endless. Uh, that kind of scared me. Uh, let's look at the important thing, because we got a treasure map, you remember? Yeah, treasure map, look at this. Look at this. You see? Yeah, I didn't know what it meant for a long time. The last time I tried Dino Digger, I found lots of amazing treasure. This time I tried Dino Digger, I just found some granola bars. Yeah, basically how it goes. The treasure on display here are, all, are from all over the world. I want to travel around the world someday, someday. Let's look at this. So we have a wheel. We have a frog. We have a boombox from the junkyard. We have uh, a TV from the junkyard too. These from the Firefly Forest. These two, I'm gonna guess, are from the deep well, the the, the wheel and frog. And these two are, well, I think they're from the vast forest, if I'm not wrong. That's weird. Um, okay. I'm not gonna spend any time in here. Cause I wanna make a hundred. I wanna be a hundred percent sure that I actually found everything. That, this guy up here, I wish I could talk to him now. I can't because there's a certain thing blocking me off from getting to him. Sadly. I know. I really want to talk to him. 
We could go back and get those jam packets sometime soon. We have to go back to uh, the Firefly Forest soon as well, also. But we're at 25 minutes, so I'll cut this video 5 minutes short. Because I have stuff to do. So what's in the water? Or the orange juice? Can't really tell. Yeah, um, I'll save here. Sorry for this, but don't have much time. So, if you enjoyed this episode, leave it a like. Have an awesome rest of the day, and I'll see you tomorrow.